Hey everyone, this is Inspector Talon, and this video is long overdue and has been requested vigorously by Phrygian and uh, Kaizen. So, behind me I have the Demi Bolt. Now, this is a piston bolt design that Carbsna, aka Fake Story, and I came up with at the same time separately. Um, and it uses half the pistons and goes the same speed, that being 20 blocks per second. So, um, I can quickly demonstrate and then explain exactly how it operates. So, as you can see, it goes the same speed and, uh, moves along the rails, even though there are powered rails and stuff like that woven in. So the way it works is whenever you have the minecart on the initial curved rail, it aligns it inside the piston itself. So whenever the piston head extends, the cart is actually inside the head because the head has its own hitbox. So when it pushes forward, it goes to the powered rail. Now the powered rail will keep its alignment as long as, or it keeps the same x or z coordinate based on how it's pushed so even though we will line to the center of the block this way um it will keep the align the slight alignment on this side so it can still be pushed by the piston and it actually snaps ahead of the piston which mean which makes it be pushed forward the extra half a block required to get it onto this curved rail where it repeats the process and goes along. So a cart can only snap to a rail every one game tick, meaning that no, you can't go any faster than 20 game ticks um, along with snapping along rails, but you can obviously have half the pistons in order to do so. So moving forward, I have some various transitions that uh, you can use whenever you're building a demi bolt for yourself. So here we have a 90 degree where it's full speed, perfectly seamless. Then we have a small block, a uh, one block jump. You can have a one game tick offset instead of using um, an extra two game ticks of the delay on the repeaters. But that makes it a little bit messy and larger, so I figured this would be a cleaner way to build it up just for demonstration purposes. If you would like to do that, feel free to do so. Uh, the one game tick offset. So here we have a straight to diagonal to straight transition. Um, once again, perfectly seamless. This one doesn't have any excess delay as well. So here we have an interesting design. It actually is based on detector rails, meaning that um, it doesn't have some sequential powering. So if you were to do this, it would power this piston, but not go forward and it doesn't propagate the signal. So as you can see, it powers itself. Now this one's also quite interesting in how the, uh, you, Detector rails will power as soon as it detects the minecart, so you would expect it to be one game tick in between. However, whenever it goes on this curved rail, it powers the detector rail due to a property of detector rails, where if a cart is within the block of the detector rail, if it intersects the hitbox of the detector rail at all, the detector rail will trigger. So that means as soon as it jumps to this uh, rail right here, which will take two game ticks worth of snapping uh, to get to the next curved rail, it powers the detector. So then two game ticks of delay is necessary for the next piston to trigger at, with the right timings. I accidentally broke a rail. However, that actually brings me to a very unique property of the Demi Bolt you can actually fix it without break having to rebuild the entire piston bolt. So as you can see, 
you just have to repeat these steps and you have now fixed the piston bolt. So unlike before with the old piston bolts, you would have to disassemble all the bolt uh, after the rail that was broken and then have a flying machine come in and recurve everything. Um, no longer are the days of absolute pain and suffering or even in creative having to use a debug stick to fix the rails or anything like that. Very, very easy and quick to fix now. Uh, over here, there is an interesting dustless uh, downwards diagonal where it uses the same uh, detector rail trick uh, in order to actually push everything forward. So this time you're not actually powering um, ahead, but because of the cart snapping uh, with the right timings and with the curved rail, it actually allows it to push forward correctly. So it goes all the way down. This one's actually quite fun to ride, so I can demonstrate inside the cart as well. So I know we ran through everything quite quickly, but over here is what I would consider a more um, late game or more complex option and something that's uh, only able to be done because of the existence of the demi bolt. You wouldn't be able to do something you wouldn't be able to do this in the same way with the old traditional bolt. Um, and I will explain some of the differences and why it wouldn't have been able to, or it wouldn't have been possible in this exact method before. So, um, essentially this takes the signal strength of whatever, uh, you put in whatever the input signal strength is, and we'll check to see if it needs to go this direction or continue along this direction. So if I were to click this, it will go straight. If I were to decrease the signal strength, which would be the correct signal strength to pass to the right, you'll see it goes through. So this is actually tick perfect. Uh, there is minimal game tick delay between pulling it down, having it snap and then push forward. I can tick freeze, or actually I will tick rate. We'll slow down the tick rate so that you can see exactly what's going on here. So it snaps down and then goes up. I broke something. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's try that again. So it goes all the way up. You lose three game ticks between, or sorry, two game ticks rather, from um, this alignment here. You can technically get rid of one game tick, but it ends up becoming impractical at other points within the bolt because of how you would end up having to modify it. So this is a much cleaner way to do it. Um, the main problems that you would have had before would have been um, pulling it with the piston in this way uh, would have been problematic because of having the sole sand in this position and um, having another piston where this dust is. It makes it very awkward in order to pull the piston or pull the cart back. Um, it wasn't impossible. Kaizen actually made a uh, a way to do it. Uh, I can link his video in the description. Um, but this is uh, somewhat not necessarily faster, but this is another way to do it. Um, let's see. Another unique uh, mechanic with the demi bolt, as I showed before, was the detector rail. And I'm actually using the detector rail in order to check to see if the cart moves forward. And if it doesn't go along these detector rails, I 
stop the signal from propagating ahead. And this cuts out a lot of logic from having to check to see, oh, is the, is the signal strength correct? Yes, no. Instead, you just check to see if the cart goes along this way. So it makes it, you know, simpler. Um, I will leave this world download in the description, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will link Friggin and Kaizen's channel as long uh, as well as the video I mentioned. Um, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.